This is Retirement Roadmap Radio with Mark Fricks from Master Plan Retirement Consultants. Listen in as we address your financial concerns and provide helpful solutions to put you on the path to achieving your retirement goals. And now, here is Retirement Roadmap Radio with your host, Mark Fricks. Hello again and welcome to another episode of Retirement Roadmap Radio with me, Mark Fricks, your host today and our co-host today, Tony Shore. We're glad you're with us. We've got a really good show. It's almost like a, it's a new year, so it's almost like it's a reset show. What I mean by that is we're going to be talking today about uh, kind of a big picture look at, at money. What you know, how, how does money work and, and what are the different tools that can be used from a big picture standpoint. So I think it'd be a great show. And so we're going to bring Tony in here and, and let him join us. Tony, um, I guess I should say happy new year, right? Has <laughs> well, it been that yeah. Long? yeah, it has been. We <laughs> last time we got together and recorded a show was before the holidays. We took a little break and then I had a little vacation and went out to this uh, business conference out in California and let me tell you, I enjoyed that. That was the I weather bet. out there is fantastic yep. <laughs> compared to compared to the rest of the country, right? Well, especially compared to to Minnesota and Michigan and yeah, all those lovely places. So yes, that, ex exactly, yeah. exactly. So I've been great, uh, but Good. I have missed you. I'm glad we're doing another show together here. How have yeah. you been? Been great. I, I took some time off, went down to the great state of Florida and spent some time on the beach oh, yeah. and did a little bit of writing. And oh, nice. um, so yeah, it was good. Um, wasn't down there as long as I thought I would be. But the best part is that, as uh, many people that listen to our show know, uh, I was born and raised in the Atlanta area. So oh, yeah. not only did our Atlanta Braves win the World Series, but our Georgia Dogs won the national championship. That so is awesome. We're pretty excited down here. It was uh, a pretty good week and, and a great game. So uh, we finally broke through that barrier, so to speak, the Saban yeah. barrier. Uh, yes, so. the Saban barrier. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you got past Alabama. Ooh, yeah. So uh, who knows what happens next? But that um, that was worth every 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 grueling moment. Um, yeah, that has so, to feel good. That yeah. has to feel good. So, yeah. well, that's great. Uh, yeah. I know you. This is a busy time of year, though, uh, for you yeah. as a financial services professional. I know you've been really busy with that. And uh, what are we going to talk about on today's show? I know you have some really good tips and strategies for our listeners out there. Yeah, so we're going we're going to kind of paint the picture of um, actually the name of the show is what color is your money? Uh, you know, most people are going to say green, maybe I don't know, right? Uh, but uh, actually, there's more to it than that. And so, you know, I kind of start uh, this kind of a show with what I would call my my dad's retirement. Uh, my dad worked for Lockheed here in the Atlanta area for, for 30 something years. Uh, he started with a pension, ended up with a 401k. So he retired with a 401k. And back, you know, back in those days, and I was in financial services then, I was a, 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 a I guess you'd call it a broker uh, and an advisor at that point. And, and you know, we would take um, many times this big 401k and roll it into an IRA, and that one big account, we would try to make it do everything needed in retirement. And I'll ask folks, I'll say, what is the job of your 401k while you're working? And it has one job, right? To grow. It grows because of the market. It grows because you put money in. The company hopefully hopefully is putting money in. So, you know, that's that's the job. But when you get closer and into retirement, what is the job of our money? And now we're looking at several different jobs. And so sure. the old uh, mentality of leaving all this money in one big basket and trying to make it do six jobs doesn't work anymore. And I'm going to give you some reasons why it does not work anymore. So the first thing we do, Tony, is we start dividing money up into what color is it. So we're going to cover those uh, colors today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like it. It sounds like it's going to be a simple enough explanation for even me to understand, Mark. I will try to, <laughs> <laughs> I won't say that. No. You're, you're very wise. I mean, you've been doing this show so long, uh, you, you know as much as I do, Tony. You probably could do it by yourself. You know. So, oh, no, no. That uh, is not true. I'm just along for the ride. But I, I like okay. the idea of breaking it down by color. It makes it easy to understand okay. because a lot of times you can get deep in the weeds with uh, trying to allocate our finances. And I assume when you talk about this using these colors, it really what we're talking about is asset allocation, where your money's at and how it's working for you and, and what 
you know, some people use the term bucket, what bucket it's in. So what are the colors we're talking about? I mean, are we going to get into craziness like fuchsia and magenta, or are we just going to stick to the... <laughs> no, that's for the high, that's, that's for the, the, the engineer clients. We, we sure. get into all those different colors. <laughs> sure. No, so the three basic colors. So we'll start with the easy one. Uh, the easy one is yellow money. And so when, when I think of yellow, I think of caution. You know, the yep. caution light blinking. So yellow money is cash, cash. Okay. Uh, cash could be in your pocket. It could be in the bank, a CD, money market. But the attributes are of cash, we have two positive attributes of cash. It's liquid, right? And and it, it won't lose money, won't lose principal. Now, it could sure. lose spending power, but it won't lose principal. Sure. What's the negative aspect of cash? No return, right? It does not keep up with inflation. And so we need cash. We need money on hand. We need the daily groceries. We need the weekly this. We need the house payment monthly. Uh, but we can't have everything in cash. It may feel good, but you got to be cautious because too much in cash, you will over the years lose money and may end up running out of money based on, you know, what else is going on in your life. So that's the first color. Now, when it mattress comes to money. cash, you can't have all your money in mattress money, right? right? Exactly. Under the exactly. mattress, especially if it's a water bed. Uh, so yeah. you don't, you don't want your, you don't no, want your no. money in a, in a water right. bed. So, right. uh, um, that was a joke from the late seventies, early eighties kids. <laughs> yes. <That's>... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You uh, yeah, Google that. You'll find out what that yeah. was. I had a waterbed when I was a kid. I, I, I had one when I was uh, yeah, about 18, 19 years old. So, <laughs> yep, um, me too. I was so seasick every morning. I couldn't stand it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so so you know, when it comes to yellow money, now we don't as a as a firm, we don't manage yellow money necessarily. That's that's up to the client to put in the bank or whatever. But we do help them manage the amount that needs to stay in cash. And that, that just comes from discussions and their needs and wants and desires and what's coming up and things like that. So that's yellow money. So we're going to kind of we're going to put that on the left side, yellow money. So now uh, picture a column on the left side. Now I want to go all the way over to the right column. I want to talk about what we call red money. So what do you think of, Tony, when you think of red? Stop. Stop. Or danger. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so that's what Warning. red money is. Now, now, so what does that mean? It is money that can gain, but also lose. It's risk mm. money. Sure. Okay. Sure. So now, now, why do we have risk money? Why is, why do we have money in the market? Because it's, it is the only place we can get true growth that will beat inflation and taxes. Okay. And that's pretty much where most people's money is. Uh, you know, as they're working, the 401ks in the market and things like that. So, you know, we're kind of used to that. Yeah. But as we get closer to retirement, you know, uh, I'm going to give you some stats here about red money. Now, by the way, red money could be not just stock market. It, it could be anything that can gain and lose. It could be land. It could be gold and silver. It can be beanie babies. It can be anything that can go up and down. OK, so don't get called into just the stock market here. But uh, so, so the thing with 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 red money um, is um, during the deck, uh, the two decades from 80 until 1999, would you have any idea, Tony, what the average annual return was of the stock market, S&P 500? In 1989? 1980 to 1999. Oh, OK. 1980 to 99. The average return of the stock market? Mm -hmm. Boy, I, I don't know. Uh, Seven, ten percent. Try eighteen. Eighteen. Wow. Was, yep. Eighteen wow. percent. We got rid of it. Realize it was spoiled. That high. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, now, since that time, up and through last year, the average annual return is six. Yeah. Imagine. I'm, I'm, that's I, what I'm thinking of right now. Blows my mind. Okay, yeah. and that's without fees. If you take a one or two percent off that, you're talking about four or five percent. Yeah. Yet with all the risk. So the markets have changed. Now, does that mean we avoid them? No, it means we treat them differently sure. But because we still need them, okay? Um, the other cool stat I came up with was during the 80s and 90s, the biggest loss was a negative 9.73%. That was the biggest loss in one year. Since that time, over the last two decades, the biggest loss over a one-year period was negative 38. 
Yeah. Okay. So the volatility in the average is definitely different. Now, is it going to stay that way? Yeah, I think it will. I, I think we're in a different world. I think we are dealing with a worldwide economy. We're, we're dealing with social media and emotions and, um, uh, you know, trades being made in, in nanoseconds sure. and all if of this China, stuff. If going China on. sneezes, the market takes a hit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And here we are dealing with the possibility of Russia, uh, you know, invading Ukraine. That's shaking yeah. up the markets. And yeah. if that's not happening, then some some canal somewhere is being shut down and oil can't get through. I mean, there's always right. something going on. And so so what we do with the red money, and again, you know, depending on your age, um, I like to see about half uh, a retiree's money in red money, okay? Uh, but we don't keep it red. We turn it orange. And briefly, what I mean by that is, is instead of just putting it in index funds and letting it ride, or instead of putting it in mutual funds and hoping somebody makes the right decisions, we are using something that's, I would say, relatively new, been around about 15 years now, but it is called actively managed money. And so it's basically money that they have um, uh, put 100 years of the stock market history into these computer programs. And now they're able to simulate and read algorithms and look at the trends and successfully, historically, avoid some of the bigger drops and with a little bit less risk. So they were averaging a better return with less risk. So now instead of being totally red, it's kind of a, we call it an orange color, a little bit less risk, a little bit more reward historically. Again, it doesn't sure. mean you don't lose money some years, all that kind of stuff. So the attributes of red money positive ones are return. We can certainly get a better return and yeah. typically liquidity. What's the negative on a red money? That's the possibility of risk of losses. Okay. And so it's kind How of, how much are you willing ones. to lose? Right. And that's, that's a whole nother discussion for another yeah. day for, for, <laughs> sure. for sure. Yeah. Now, now, you know, we talked about the jobs of money. So, you know, we talked about cash that that job was to, to be able to pay our bills and, and sure. have some backup. The job of red slash orange money um, is not income. It is, um, growth. The, the job is, is growth again. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. It, it's, it's that the roof blew off. Yeah. Uh, I want to go to Europe. Uh, it's, it's what we dip into maybe once, twice, three times a year. Why? Uh, we just talked about volatility. So if yeah. you're talking about a market that back in, you know, uh, March and April of 2020 COVID lockdown dropped 26%, and you were taking a monthly check from that of two or $3,000, you can see that that can accelerate your losses. And so yeah. we don't use red slash orange money for income. We use it for all that fun stuff, all sure. the stuff or, or the bad stuff, you know, again, the roof blew yeah. off or, or whatever. So the that's refrigerator kind of, went out, right? Always yeah. something, right? The engine There's fell out of the car. Always something, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a daughter's wedding coming up. I mean, so many different things. But that's that backup to cash that we need growth, but we understand. And 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 Tony, by the way, our our orange money that we use for our clients, it's not just in one bucket. You know, we may have some in a sh in a short term type investment, some in a long term, um, because we always want to be able to uh, have access to money without the fear of it being again. 20% down or whatever it may be. So, yeah. so that's kind of the orange red money, uh, job, um, when it comes to, uh, our clients. And again, on average, uh, if you're in your fifties or beyond about half needs to be there. The problem is virtually anybody that comes in our office between 80 and hundred percent of them, of their money is in red money. Uh, and it's not being managed appropriately. So they are, especially if they're a few years away from retirement, they are at a huge risk of, of like a 2008 when, mm -hmm. Millions of people put off retirement because they were down 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. And the they great retire. recession, the great yeah. recession. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So major issues there. So. Ready? Well, yeah. And so obviously a lot of people think, well, uh, I've got my money in an IRA or my 401ks and I'm very conservatively invested because I don't like risk. But the, you hear that a lot, I'm sure. But yet they're still, it's all at risk at that point because well, it's all yeah. tied to the market, yeah. right? And I love these old, you know, these old magazines where they will say like, okay, if you're 60, you should have 60% in bonds and 40% in stocks. Well, bonds have not yielded anything for the last 25 years, right? Sure. And stocks, again, that, that doesn't mean you're necessarily conservative. So again, that active money management is really the key for our clients to, sure. uh, again, if you can avoid the, the big troughs, 
you know, that's that's at least half the battle when it yeah. comes to red red top money. Yeah. So. Well, before we yeah. go on to the next point, uh, let's take a minute, Mark, to let our listeners know how they can get a hold of you, because really the way to deal with this is get that money properly allocated. Look right. and see what you have in red money, yellow money and green money. And uh, let's talk about that some more. But first, let our listeners know how they can get a hold of you to set up. Sure. There's a no charge no obligation consultation. You'll sit down with them and talk to them, right? Exactly. We can do it by telephone. We can do it by Zoom. We can do it face to face. Um, but it's basically a time for them just to tell, just to discuss their situation. You know, this sure. is what's going on. This is my concerns. This is my goals. And then based on how the conversation goes, we will also, uh, we have the capability of running six, seven, eight complimentary reports, including a color of money report, right? That will tell them where they're at and where they need to be to get where they want to be in retirement. So sure. uh, there's tax reports, there's income planning reports. There's, I mean, uh, again, eight or nine reports. And and that, yeah. again, Tony is complimentary. And so it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like going to the doctor and, and getting some test run. Let's see what's wrong with me so I'll know what to work on, right? Sure. And so if, if they want, you know, if, if somebody wants to take advantage of that, it's about a 30-minute appointment. Um, just, you know, you can call us 770-980-9262. Great places to, is, is the website. We have a button you push and my calendar pops up and you pick your time and your date. Uh, so just visit masterplanretire.com. Very simple. Um, uh, if you're in your car, um, you can, if you pull over, uh, you can actually go to your phone and text the word master plan, all one word to the phone number 21,000. And our contact information will come up as well. So masterplanretire.com is a pl great place to go. Or the word master plan to the number 21,000 will put you in touch with us. That's awesome. Well, uh, let's continue here. And Mark, uh, when we're talking about uh, the color of money, you've talked about um, red money, which is money that's at risk or in the market or bonds. Anything mm -hmm. that's at risk is really red money and it could be in the yellow money category but it's actively managed uh you know cash is in the in the yellow because it can lose you can cash loses money uh, over time because of inflation right right right, right. uh yep. but there's also green money and i don't mm -hmm. think you've talked much about green money and that's money at least where your principal's protected right yeah green money has some similarities to cash in that the principal's protected but it grows better than cash. We're getting cash one, two, three percent. Historically, uh, I tell people three to five percent. You know, sure. uh, green money typically will grow five to eight percent. So you're getting almost double the growth. Still have principal protected, but also green money is replacing the old pension plans. Pension mm. plans are disappearing, uh, and so how do you get income in retirement? Uh, we've already talked about how I don't like to take it from red money because red money is all over the board. Sure. Uh, yeah. So we want to take that daily, weekly, monthly income from green money because it's stable, steady growth. And by the way, it's guaranteed just like a pension is. Yeah. OK, so we we use insurance companies to guarantee this income stream. It looks just like Social Security. It looks just like a pension. You get a check every month and it will last as long as you live. And if you pass away and there's still money left, there's a death benefit. So you never lose it. Tony, there's no death benefit on Social Security. Actually, there is 255 bucks. But, you know, based on what you've paid into it, yeah, you're not getting your money back. Yeah. Uh, yeah but, no. but so you never lose not only what you put in there, but what you gained over those years as well. Mm -hmm. So so green money is income. Green money is is that steady check. You know, Tony, is something funny about the power company. If you miss a, a month or two. Your house gets real dark. Okay. Yeah, they, yeah it does. They don't like yeah. it. They, yeah. No. So you can call them, you can beg. It doesn't work. I've yeah. tried it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so great money's got to be coming in the door. So that's a yeah. steady, um, and now, so, so money that you know will be there every month. That's right. That's right. right. Without fail, without fail. Yeah. So the attributes of green money are number one, better return, kind of like red money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number two is, um, Safe principle, kind of like yellow money, kind of like mm -hmm. cash. Uh, yeah. The drawback is less liquidity. Uh, Tony, let's say you called up Social Security and you needed a new roof and you told Social Security, hey, I want to borrow against my future checks. What are your chances of getting that loan? <laughs> it's not liquid, is it? Right? Social no, they're not going to give it liquid. to you. 
Right, right. So we, we just assume that this green money is not liquid. Now, technically it is. Uh, it's just less liquid than the other categories. So if we want liquidity, sure. we go to cash or we go to red risk money. Um, but if we want that guaranteed income, we go to green money. So you can see sure. if we've got a little bit of money in all three of these, we have assignments to these buckets. Yeah. I know yeah. what I'm going to use this bucket for. I know what I'm going to use mm. this bucket for. And then when it comes to those colors, we may have three or four accounts in each color. We've talked about that with red money. You might have a, a, a an aggressive stock market account, a moderate one, a conservative one. You might have some precious metals uh, in your red bucket to counteract market drops. Sure. So. Again, you might have a rental house. In green money, there might be three different accounts in green money because we need income the day we retire. And then 10 years later, because of inflation, we need additional income. And then as we get older, maybe additional income for long-term care or other health care yep. uh, needs. So we stack these and we, we design plans for each individual based on their needs uh, and, and every, all the discussions we've had with them. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and that makes sense. And and a lot of people don't understand the importance of they just think, well, I've got a 401k and an IRA and when I retire, I'm just going to use that money. Uh, but nowadays, with yeah. finances the way they are, with the markets the way they've been, uh, you really need a plan in place and you need that money properly allocated and managed. And that's going to make a huge difference, right? It, uh, it, it is so. And, and I'll tell you what, Tony, you know, people... Uh, it, it almost never fails. If so, if, if we take on a new client, um, by the third meeting, they are saying, I feel so much better because I know where my income's coming from. I know where my backup money is. I know how it's being allocated. I know, uh, what the purpose is of each bucket. I've got six buckets or eight buckets or whatever. And so what we deliver more than anything is peace of mind is knowing yeah. we have a plan Really, that is for the rest of their lives uh, sure. throughout retirement. Now, it's adjustable. It's changeable. Uh, we take into account that things can go wrong. We could lose a spouse. We could have this, that, and the other. We have strategies for those things. We know sure. that something's going to happen. But it is a plan that is, that is I, I would say, ever-changing um, to a certain extent, but still the basis is there. And so, again, people just say, you know, I don't know what I was thinking before I came to see you guys, but now I know what the rest of my life looks like financially. And it's really a good feeling for me to know that we can deliver that piece of, I mean, can you imagine being retired and waking up every morning wondering how your income is going to be based on what the market's doing that day? Oh yeah, no, that's no way to retire. It really is. No. So that's the really cool thing about what we do. Yeah. And that's, that's the key to having a plan in place is that, um, that peace of mind, as you're saying, you're talking about peace of mind. And, you know, we've called it the SWAN plan, S-W-A-N, which is sleep well at night. Yep. <laughs> I, that's what I like. Yep. I want to just be able to sleep well at night and not worry about it and have a plan knowing, OK, you know, I know there's going to be inflation. I know there's going to be market fluctuations. Right. Uh, I know the economy can go up and down, but. I've got a plan in place and my money is properly allocated and being managed. And then there are changes every year too. So right. you, there are adjustments that need to be made sometimes along the way to those asset allocations or the colors of money, the red, yellow, and green, right. uh, the st the stoplight theory, as I call it, your red, yellow, and green money. So I think that makes perfect sense. I'm glad you've explained it in that way. And I know you meet with your clients regularly mm -hmm. uh, because things do change. Social security changes. There's changes to Medicare and health care costs. There's changes. Taxes. Yeah, taxes, taxes is, is a big one. Yeah. And we've done yep. whole separate shows on yep. on the different buckets. Your tax, your money needs to be in for tax purposes. So that happens within that. But see, it can get complicated. So you've got to have uh, somebody looking at that big picture who does this day in and day out. There's no there's no need to go it alone. Right. No, there's not. And, and you know, it's, it's almost like, uh, you know, in the old days, olden days, you know, um, you know, people went to doctors less. You know, right. it, it, it had to be something major. Now we go yeah. every year, we yeah. get checked up and yeah. we want to make sure we're proactive and we have that peace of mind of being healthy. It, sure. It's it's really the same. It's financially healthy is what we're looking for. Yeah. And that's that's what the plan's for. Yeah. Yep. And I think that's great. Well, we're almost out of time, Mark. Why don't you let our listeners know before we go how they can set up that no cost, no obligation consultation? 
Absolutely. Again, a great place to go is the website. You can find out more about us, what we do, how we do it. Uh, Masterplanretire.com. Um, and again, if you want to schedule an appointment, there's a little green button in the lower right-hand corner. You click that button. My calendar is there. You get to choose. You can call us. We love phone calls. We actually, you know, we, we will actually answer the phone. Okay. 770-980-9262. Uh, or again, if you have your cell phone handy, just go to your text and just, uh, text the word master plan to the number 21,000 and our information will pop up and you can contact us in numerous ways with that as well. But master plan retire is a great way, I think, uh, to not only schedule an appointment, but to, to get to know us better as well. Yeah. Well, Mark, great show. Awesome. A lot of great information for our listeners right. out there. I would encourage them to take that step, make that plan. And that does yeah. it for today's episode of Master Plan. Nope. <laughs> it's actually Retirement Roadmap Radio, and your company is Master Plan Retirement, right? Exactly. Master Plan Retirement <laughs> Consultants is the company name, but the radio show and the podcast. Uh, yeah. And I believe our YouTube channel is all called, yes. um, yeah, Retirement Roadmap Radio or just Retirement Roadmap uh, or search our name, Master Plan as well. But uh, we're all about education, Tony. So if you visit any of those things, if you, if you have a cell phone in your pocket, you probably have over 100 of my podcast within wow. arm's reach. Awesome. And, and these are just all the past recorded shows we've done covering every topic re related to retirement. So, All right. Great show. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. And Tony, remember, until we speak again next week, plan well and prosper. Take care, my friend.